Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel everyone. Hi, hope everyone's doing well. This is an energy update for a love reading. It could be a friend, it could be a relative, it could be most likely a lover that you've come to ask about, but we have answers and you have questions. All right, so thanks for joining me here. I so appreciate your energy and your time and uh, welcome, my name is Donna. Okay, so let's cut the deck here for you Pisces and see what we have for your overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh, you are surveillance. You're in, you're in special operations mode, Pisces. You want answers. You want to let go of something. You want a, to make a real offer. You want to move forward. You may want to take somebody with you, but you definitely want a big change in a relationship. Okay, because it looks like you're leaving something and making an offer at the same time. So Pisces, let's look at your energy first. The Four of Coins, Capricorn energy. You're very much holding back. You are holding on to your person, but you're also being very self-protective at this time. The Ten of Swords says that you feel as though you have no other option than to leave a situation in which you have been wounded. Ten knives in the back is kind of a big wound, so you feel as though you really have not been treated very well, and it looks like you haven't. You do want to throw caution to the winds, though. The person that you're with is somebody that you love dearly, but there has been some sort of major situation in which there was a betrayal, at least an emotional betrayal, in terms of your experience of it. The person you've come to inquire about, we have the Nine of Cups. That is a card. Pisces, that's your energy also. So your person probably has Pisces in their chart too. The Nine of Cups is a card of great happiness and joy. That's how they feel about you. They like to eat, drink, be merry, make love. Obviously, that would be for lovers only. The Chariot card, that's Cancerian energy. You're dealing with somebody who has a watery, you know, water in their chart, who's very emotional about you. This person wants to pursue relationship with you. They feel as though the two of you have invested a lot in a relationship. There's a very grounded energy. They feel as though home is where the heart is, quite literally. That's Taurus energy. The three of coins, they feel as though they're the person they want to pick out. You're the person that they want to pick out paint chips with. They want to collaborate with through life. Let's see what your outcome is for the short term. The lover's card. Okay. So whatever this person said, it does look like you're trying to get past it. I will clarify that for you also. But the soulmate energy between the two of you is pretty intense. There's a lot of remorse and regret, though. It looks as though there's there's been some sort of situation in which I wouldn't say there's been actual cheating with another because this is the outcome for both of you, but there could be somebody leaving the relationship for someone else. We have in and out energy here. But this is, a, this is the energy of losing sleep. Be careful what you choose, Pisces, and your person of interest should be careful of their choices because any player energy, any sort of infidelity, or any even just backstabbing in a conversational way, or even just not being supportive of one another is causing a rift. It's almost like someone is taking making very light of something that you've experienced in a very heavy-handed way. You still love this person, though. And the, okay, so you're still in it to win it. The Eight of Coins card, Pisces, your person and you are still both in this relationship. I do think you both have regret. I definitely think that, but I do think your person's a little bit cavalier about your emotions sort of almost like trying to make light of it, trying to lighten the energy. The Eight of Coins still says that both of you are in this relationship. Maybe it's a learning process. It could be a lesson that both of you have learned. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are for just the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Why do we have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Show us, please, Spirit, the nature of the, nature of the betrayal that Pisces felt in this relationship. 
what do the Ten Swords represent to Pisces in this relationship? Waiting for a card to pop out. There we go. That's too many, but I'll take the top one. All right. An offer. Well, I guess I'm going to take more because an offer, a betrayal of an offer. Interesting. An offer from a um, competitor. Temperance energy. Three of Cups. King of Swords. So it looks as though, Pisces, that your perception is that somebody with whom you have had some sort of disagreement or competition with has been treated like it, it wasn't important to your person. I really feel like this situation is something that you told your person about, this beautiful lover, this person who adores you, this person who loves you, and they didn't take it serious enough and you really felt hurt by that. The King of Swords energy, you felt that they were too cold, too aloof, too analytical. You do feel this person is a person you would marry, that's the engagement set. Temperance card says you're not going anywhere. You do want to make up. But it does look like sometimes you feel a little bit like there's an ego battle going on in the relationship. I like the fact that the King of Swords is here. That is, you know, making a head over heart decision. But Pisces, you know, you're pretty sensitive. I, you know, I'm sure that if you didn't feel supported, that would make you a little bit angry because I feel as though you support your person wholeheartedly in their endeavors in life. Okay, so now let's look at the Nine of Swords. Remorse and regret. Why are there sleepless nights here? This is the outcome of both of you. So this is a joint outcome. Okay, so something happened. The tower came down. There's a feeling that the two of you thought you were on more solid footing in your relationship than you truly are. It also looks as though Somebody was in denial of their feelings. Seven of Swords is the feeling that somebody's just been dishonest. Somebody's been dishonest in the relationship. We do have the King of Wands energy, so it feels as though for some of you, this person knew how much this could hurt you, and yet it, you know... It's like you're both healing from it. I, why is the Seven of Swords here? This is like a very, very interesting complication. The Strength card. So you both have strength in your belly. You both want, you have fire in the belly for the relationship. I feel as though when you shared that you were really upset with this person, that they... They blew it off knowing that it would upset you, but I feel as though they, f they felt like they didn't have time to deal with it. Let me see. What was your person doing here? I didn't mean for this to be more than an energy update, but hey, this is the energy. We have to look into it for you. I don't want to leave you feeling sort of weird about this. You just feel like your person was really took the easy way out. You felt like they responded to you. They could respond to you in a way that would have been more meaningful. And you felt that the betrayal came in the fact that they didn't take time to do it. And they didn't they just sort of left you hanging in a way that you're not happy with. I don't see these as really big egregious serious offenses, but it is meaningful to you because you're very supportive of your person, see? The four wands of support. So an issue in your relationship right now looks as though it's the way the two of you give and receive support from one another in day-to-day -day life. It looks like the partnership is still very much intact. All partnerships go through upheavals. We're always learning throughout our whole lives about our partner. So we have message in a bottle. Okay. So part of what I see is that I do think your your person messaged you later about it. TikTok, it was sort of a ticking time bomb in your heart. And I feel as though they responded in time. One more card, Treasure Island, okay. So you do see your person as a treasure. You do feel as though they're very meaningful in your life. You're happy. You feel as though you've really never dated anybody happier. But I still want to get 
Let's look at the sacred destiny cards. What is what is happening in this mature relationship between Pisces and their person? What is the destiny or the outcome of this relationship longer term? The meaning of it? Community. Okay. Well, you know, we all want a village, right? You felt like your person was your village. They say it takes a village to raise a baby or a human. And so you you lost your sense that they had your back. Leadership, okay. So this relationship is to also help you come into the energy, Pisces, of being more leadership oriented and really not holding back. You're to throw caution to the winds. You're to tell the person that you love how this made you feel. And we have, and with that comes inner peace. All right, Pisces, I like it. That's called ascension. We call it growth. We have twin flame energy and divine ascension. Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please like, subscribe, share, and sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.